Hey, how's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Exciting project in the shop today. Ho oh, oh, ho, baby. Uh, do you ever have critters come into your workshop and destroy stuff? Well, I've had an ongoing battle with critters this summer. Uh, squirrels in particular. And uh, anyway, they got a price in their head right now. So if you're a squirrel, don't come near the camp because you won't leave. I just put it that way. Anyways, what we have in the shop. Uh, well, it's hard to make your shop squirrel-proof uh, unless you want to seal it all off like a like a home, and I don't really want to do that. It's kind of a, just a barn. But uh, when I built the uh, the shop here in the barn, I ran a couple of pipes from the camp underground over to the barn to run services in, and maybe at some point I was anticipating maybe hooking up to the septic system, so I have a pipe in there for septic. So anyway. Uh, where those pipes come into the camp, they're open, into the barn I mean, they're open under the camp, open-ended under the camp, so anything can get in the pipes, and they were open-ended here in the barn. And what I try to do is close those off. So I'm just going to show you what happened when I closed them off. So here we are in the shop. Uh, there's the band door right there, right? So we come in and behind the door, up through the foundation, is my two four-inch pipes, service pipes. The one on the left here is capped off good and tight and that was for a future septic line if I ever thought I would like to run one because I can get downhill from here back to the camp and tie into my septic system it would have been great. Here's the other one. I have services coming into it. I have uh, a water line, a uh, cable for television, uh, and the electrical service. Anyway, this pipe is open under the camp and it's also open here but I had this clever little cover here made up so just the bottom of a two-liter pop bottle, and it fits over those uh, pipes pretty slick, just like on here on the sewer pipe. Uh, but because I have uh, wires and whatnot coming in here, I had to cut the side out of this box, out of this bottle. So what I do is I take this uh, bottom of the bottle and I slip that sort of like that, and that more or less blocks off the hole. But you saw when I started. This was pushed off on the floor, and that's like the third time this has happened. So I'm thinking maybe squirrels are pushing that up. And I also see like uh, squirrel droppings around, but that could be just because there's squirrels in the building. So I'm going to put that on there again. I'm going to put a little bit of tape around the bottom of it and see if it comes off again. So I'm going to put some tape on this. I don't need a lot. I just need something on there to sort of hold it on. Because uh, if I ever need to run more lines or something, I have to get that off. So there. So we we'll leave it like that and see if uh, I get any more incidents where this is pushed off the pipe. Okay, so there you go. Quick little video trying to uh, put a cap on that pipe that won't push off. So if critters are coming in that way, they'll hit a dead end. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted anyways to see if that uh, cover comes off anymore. Uh, I'm kind of thinking it won't, but you never know. Squirrels are pretty smart. Okay, here's an update on uh, the critter problem I was having. It's been about uh, a month since I put this cap on. Uh, the cap, this green one, used to get knocked off, and I was sure critters were coming in that way, so I put it back on with tape, and it hasn't moved, and I've seen no sign of critter around in the barn in the shop here so I think that worked I do believe I still have critters in the, the shop but uh, not as many as I used to well I don't know maybe there's more they're just neater anyway I think that cap taping that cap on there I think worked anyways that's it I hope you liked the video thumbs up me comment because I love getting comments and I read them all and I try to respond to them all too, but hey, sometimes I miss a couple. But that's okay. I'm learning. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because I'm really looking to get some subscribers. So help support my channel with a subscription or share it with your friends or tell your friends. Get them to subscribe as well, would you? Thanks a lot and we'll talk to you soon.